My name is Badibor Zvaivon, Labour Party Governorship candidate for Lagos State. I'm, to I'm giving this address to address some of the fears that the APC has tried to push out there into the minds of the several different people in Lagos State about my eventual emergence as Governor of Lagos State. To the civil servants, you have nothing to worry about. In my first 100 days, we'll be rising your salaries upwards. Our aim is to ensure that you earn a living wage, not a minimum wage. And when, from our calculations and our analysis, everybody needs to earn 150000 to actually be able to have a means of living a quality life in Lagos State. We might not achieve that from day one, but we'll work to achieve that in the first year of my government. You have nothing to fear about losing your jobs. In fact, your pensions will be paid earlier. The only people that have any cause for concern are the people that have been looting our commonwealth because those funds will be taken and put into ensuring that the lives and quality of life of civil servants are much better because we cannot expect a civil service to work and bring my vision into reality without ensuring that they have a quality of life that can meet the standards that Lagos needs. So I need you to partner with me to be able to achieve our Lagos. And to do this, I need to make sure that you are paid and taken care of very well. There are many benefits from student loans, access to student loans, housing benefits, and a life that will set you on the path to being truly middle class. To the worker, to the transport unions, you have nothing to worry about. All we are going to do is ensure that the monies that are being generated are actually going to benefit you directly. Monies are not just going to be going up to leaders that use it without accounting for it. We must hold a transparent way so that you, the union member that is running after buses and doing all this work, will actually have benefits, health insurance benefits. See, as you are running on the road, if a bus hits you and you end up in the hospital, do you have any medical insurance to pay that? Your children need to go to school. Is there any means or any monies from that you can use to pay that? As a government, you are going to ensure that you have a good quality of life. To the market women all across Lagos State, and even the men that sell in the market, for the first time, be able to appoint your own Ialoja. The way it was done in the days before, where the Ialoja actually stood in the interest of the people against the government. To a type of Ialojas that were able to work with Herbert Macaulay to fight against colonialism, are going to restore Lagos back to that history. Don't worry about extortion from agribusiness again, excessive tax taxes that make your business unprofitable. With us, you'll be able to make money from your business because we're not just going to be taking money from you every day, left, right, and center. We want you to grow. We want your business to be successful. And we'll account for the monies that you pay as levies to us. To all our industrious traditional rulers and royal fathers, the time of the government just using you as rubber stamps to legitimize what they are doing is over. The traditional rulers have a firm place in our government. And we are going to ensure that we consult with you with any policy that we want to do in your constituency, your jurisdiction. And we know that that is the only way we can actually have successful governance. We are going to bring you again to the, to the seat, to the table of power. You will not just be a rubber stamp for the government. What the, what the colonialists did is not something that we should continue. You will have a pride of place in my government and will preserve and, and aggregate and curate our tradition so we can also bring in tourists to also improve the economies of all your jurisdiction and give you dividends of good governance. Papa, Mama, and Pekin vote Labour Party.